Nation, just wanted to give you guys an update on the field house. Uh, all the walls are up now in here, so we wanted to take you guys on a little tour and, and kind of tell you where everything's going to be located uh, inside of here. We're, we're really excited. We're getting really close to moving in, so uh, we just wanted to share with everybody what, what it's looking like right now. So come on inside. All right, this is the weight room. It's 1,600 square feet. Uh, there's going to be four double-sided racks right in the middle, and then there'll be four racks around the edges in here. Uh, there's also four televisions in here. They're 65 inches, so they're going to be really big. Um, and, and they will display the workout or examples of how to execute a lift or, or maybe a video uh, of a previous game uh, as a little motivation maybe. Um, th this is going to be you know, where, where we put in the work, um, there's going to be uh, 10,000 pounds of, of free weights, uh, dumbbells, kettlebells, bars. That's over five tons of weights that will be going in this room. Um, th there will be logos inlaid into the rubber floor, which is going to look really nice where the kids will do power clean and deadlift. We have two different water fountain stations right here, so that will be great for our managers. They won't have to fill up water bottles. and. Then mess with ice or any of that stuff for workouts, so I know they'll appreciate that. All right, come on over, I'll show you guys the speed and agility station now. Here's our speed and agility area. Um, it's gonna be synthetic turf. It's 30 yards long, about seven yards wide, so plenty of room for our guys to run in, uh, you know, doing the power sleds, cones, box jumps, ladders, all the speed and agility work uh, can be done in this area. Um, there'll be uh, some crash pads at each end, so that way if we're getting up to full speed, they won't run into the block wall. They'll have a padding to run into. Uh, I'm really excited about this area too because if it's bad weather outside in the fall, we can come in here and get some football work done in this area right here. Um, I know the kids will, will be really excited about this part of the field house as well. Uh, and, and now we'll, we'll take you guys down to the film room. It's a cool area too. Gonna be the film room right here. Um, we we saw uh, an, an idea um, back last year about this time for the uh, bleachers that can be pushed in and pulled out to use those in the film room in, instead of using chairs or, or having them sit in the floor or, or desk, um, so we can maximize the space in here. So those bleachers will pull out, it'll seat 70 to 80 people, and then we can push them back in uh, during other times when we want to use this like a player's lounge where they can have ping pong, air hockey, um, and that sort of thing. Um, there'll be three 65 inch televisions up top right here that we'll show film off of, uh, make our notes, our corrections, all that sort of stuff, our scouting reports. Um, and then when it's in downtime, when this is used as the player's lounge, the kids can hook their Xboxes and Playstations up and play Fortnite and Madden and all that kind of good stuff. All right, next we'll go into the locker room. All right, here's our locker room. It's 2,000 square feet. Uh, there's gonna be 68 lockers in here. We have 52 right now in our current locker room. Um, and we have over 60 players, so. Um, it, it will be nice for every kid to have their own uh, locker and not have to share or use the bench or the floor. Um, this, this is going to be open. In the middle it's going to be open. The lockers are going to go all along the walls here. Uh, it'll be really neat in the center. We can use this during the off season. We can lay a wrestling mat down and do some of our combative drills that we do. Um, so we can maximize this space just like we talked about some of the other areas. Um, the, the lockers will have a laser engraving of our SC Wings logo, that one right there. Um, and they're, they're also available for sponsorship, uh, and we're hoping a lot of people will jump on board with that. They'll have a gold plate uh, inside the locker that can have their name on there and whatever message that they want to provide. Um, we think this is, is going to be a huge upgrade from where we're at right now. Uh, we know the players will continue to take pride in the locker room and keep it clean. Uh, next, let's go into the hallway. It doesn't sound really exciting when I say, you know, come on, we're going to look at a hallway, but, but this isn't just an ordinary hallway. We want to make it special. 
Uh, we want to use this space to honor uh, past players and teams uh, that, that have done great things here at the school or gone on to do great things once they've left here. Um, you know, we, once you're an Eagle, you're always an Eagle, and we want to honor those people in this hallway. We'll have trophy cases in here, uh, places to hang up pictures, and, and it will be a special place um, and, and something that when people come back and visit, we want them to come through this hallway and, and check out the things that we've done in here. All right, next, let's go into the trainer's room. This is our trainer's room. Uh, we're really excited to give our trainer, Ben Turner, a home. Um, you know, I, we, we've never really had a full-time trainer and, and we've never had um, a, a place to, to give our trainers um, where they can have a home base. There'll be exam tables in here, a trainer's table for taping. Um, there'll be storage for him to keep all of the tape and equipment things that he needs. Um, it, and, and there will be, you know, when someone needs something or ha they have an injury, they won't have to do it uh, out in the hallway. They'll be able to come into this room uh, and take care of all those needs. Uh, th this is, you know, a, a space that, that was much needed in the field house and, and we're happy that we were able to fit this in here to give Ben uh, a place to work out of. All right, now let's go into the laundry room. All right, this is the laundry room. Uh, we'll have three washers in here and then a commercial dryer. Uh, we'll also have an ice machine in the corner. Um, and, and hopefully we're, we're looking to add a dishwasher to this area too, so that way we can wash our water bottles and I won't have to take them home and give them to Brittany to wash. Um, so, you know, this again, big area here, um, should be able to get all the laundry done here in a lot quicker uh, time frame um, and, and get the clothes back to the kids uh, or get our jerseys good and clean, uh, which, whichever night it happens to be for, for laundry. Uh, next, let's go into the coach's office. Okay, this is the coach's office. Uh, we're, we're happy about this area because our assistant coaches have never really had a place to call their own, uh, never had a, a space where they can get work done. Um, you know, we've done game planning in classrooms and all that sort of thing, so it will be nice to be able to meet, uh, game plan, and do all of those things uh, together in one area. Um, we, we think this is going to be neat because the, the walls are going to be covered in whiteboard, so the whiteboards will be right above the coaches' heads from their desk. Um, they'll be able to just stand up, you know, draw something up or write a note, whatever, on their whiteboard. Uh, most of them will be able to reach it just sitting down. There's a few of them that probably can't do that. Um, over here, there'll be a couple TVs. Um, it connects to the weight room, to the head coach's office, to the equipment room, the laundry room, uh, and then right there to the hallway. Uh, will be, you, you can go right through there and get to the player's locker room. Um, and that's great because everything is right here, uh, easy access for coaches to get to. Uh, next, we'll go into the equipment room. All right, this is the equipment room. Uh, we're gonna have a lot of shelving in here, cabinets, uh, table to put stuff on and, and under. Um, this is about double the size. Uh, it's probably over double the size of our current equipment room. Uh, we also have a closet over here. Uh, we're hoping to be able to put the jerseys in there and, and keep them locked away. Um, I don't know if they'll all fit since we have nine different jersey combinations. So hopefully they'll all fit in there. Uh, but you know, having a big equipment room like this is gonna be very helpful for us and, and, and be able to keep everything in one location versus having it spread out in all different places in the gym. Uh, next, we'll come over here and look at the uh, coach's locker room. Coach's locker room, uh, there'll be lockers along this wall right here. Um, the, those lockers are also up for sponsorship. Uh, we can put the gold plates uh, in there with names and, and, and a message uh, of whatever you want it to say. Um, this will be, uh, this is a little bigger than the area that we have right now. Um, it, it'll be nice to, to be able to come in here and, and have a place to sit down and, and get changed, get ready for a game or practice or whatever it is. Um, the next area we're going to go to is the head coach's office. Head coach's office, um, there'll be a TV in here, whiteboards, all that kind of good stuff. 
Um, the offensive staff will meet in here. Uh, th this will be a, a, a good place if people want to come visit or if there are meetings or anything because there's an outside entrance right next to it. Um, so you won't have to walk through uh, a locker room or a gym or anything to get to the office. Um, next, we'll go outside and check out some, some things that we've got planned for the future outside. Come on. That area, what we're hoping to do with it is get this area right here blacktop so we can get the kids out here to run and get up to 100% speed, full speed all the way through uh, and not have to worry about running into walls and that sort of thing. And then out front, we want to get that area blacktop so that way when it's nice outside, we can come out and maybe lift some weights out here, uh, do our dots, our, our box jumps. Uh, ladders, all that sort of thing out here. Maybe get a basketball goal or two up out here. We can play a little sideline basketball out here for some competitions and, and it'd be a place where coaches can socialize out here uh, in the off season and same thing for the players. They can get a game up and, and do some cool stuff out here too. So we're hoping to get that done. Uh, once the inside gets done, we'll move on to that part. That ends the tour. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And the next time we have major progress, we'll get you another one up so you can look at it. Check it out.